course, sound waves aren't sounds. They're just compression waves in a medium. You're not aware of them as sound until your ears receive them. The compression waves are passed on as vibrations through the delicate inner parts of your ears. These are eventually converted to electrical signals and transmitted by the branches of the auditory nerve to your brain. And it's only in your brain that these signals are interpreted as sounds. When you hear sounds, you hear many differences that help you tell one sound from another. Some sounds have higher pitches than other sounds do. Sounds also differ in loudness. But the sound waves themselves don't have loudness or pitch. What sound waves do have is frequency and amplitude. Let's see what that means in terms of a single molecule of air. And let's add the ink and the moving sheet of paper as before. Now, with our sound back and the paper moving, we get our sine wave again. If we put in an axis, we can make some definitions. The movement of our molecule from the axis to as far above the axis as it goes, to as far below the axis as it goes, and then back to the axis represents one vibration or cycle. So this is one cycle. The frequency of a sound wave is a measure of how many cycles per second the sound wave produces in the medium it's traveling through. When the frequency of a sound wave goes up, more waves per second strike our ears, and we hear a higher-pitched sound. When the frequency goes down, we hear a lower pitch. 